I'm a stickler for that problem. I feel like if you can learn to be careful with that problem, you learn a lot. Unfortunately, though, the answer is always zero, so students kind of just, oh, I could do that. So I then give them a little bit harder one, where the answer is a little bit more difficult to determine what it's always going to be. So here I ask you to prove that the limit as x approaches 3 of this expression does not exist. So, I want to look at the limit as x approaches. I wish I could just look at the limit proper, but what's in here? Absolute value, so I'm probably going to have to do left and right hand limits. Okay? Let's pick the right hand limit. Absolute value of x minus 3 all over x minus 3. Notice, of course, I can't use direct substitution because I don't have a nice polynomial or rational function, right? Direct substitution property does not apply to absolute values. What types of, this is, this is where it gets a little bit trickier. What types of numbers am I plugging in for x? Numbers just a little bit to the right of 3. Numbers like what? 3.4, 3.1. When I subtract 3 from that, what will I always get? A positive number. Does that make sense? Everyone understand that? This is very important. As I approach 3, but from the right, the argument of the absolute value will always be positive. How do I take the absolute value of a positive expression? Leave it alone. We get the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of, just in a, here, just to emphasize that I did something, I'm going to put it in parentheses. You don't have to put it in parentheses, but that just emphasizes that I applied the definition of the absolute value. Did I wish it away? No, I made a, I made a decision based upon the definition. Okay. What does this expression simplify to? This gives us the limit as x approaches 3 from the right of just 1. What is the limit of a constant? It is just the constant. Let's go the other way. Let's now look at the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of the absolute value of x minus 3 over x minus 3. I'm now approaching 3 from the left, which means I'm plugging in numbers like what? 2. 2. 2.5, 2.9, All of those numbers, when I subtract 3 from them, what do I get? A negative quantity. In this case, when we approach 3 from the left, the argument inside the absolute value will always be negative. How do I take the absolute value of an expression that's negative? Change the sign. Change the sign. So this gives me the limit as x approaches 3 from the left of negative x minus 3 over x minus 3. What does this simplify down to? down to a negative 1. What is the limit of a constant? It's just the constant. Therefore, the limit as x approaches, where were we going? 3, of the absolute value of x minus 3 over x minus 3 does not exist. How come? The right hand limit doesn't equal the left hand limit. So you might see me Make that statement there. RHL, or sorry, RH, yeah, RHL, right hand limit. LHL, left hand limit. We found the right hand limit. We found the left hand limit. We showed they didn't exist. All right, folks, this will show up on your first exam, I promise. Different numbers. It'll show up on your first exam, I promise. There's a good chance it'll show up again on another exam. Okay. All right.